Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. This evening I'm off to the Garrick Theatre for a night with Dame Judi Dench and two Williams. Yep, Finty Williams and Sam Williams who are her daughter and grandson. Very much looking forward to it. So I'm really excited to listen to all their stories, hear all about everything that's happened in their lives. And yeah, I'm just excited to find out lots more. It's going to be amazing and an incredible night. So come along with me to the Garrick Theatre for Dench and Two Williams. Woo! So I'm here in the heart of the West End. I'm about to go to the Garrick Theatre behind me. Very much looking forward to this. It's a one night only event. I will try and recall some of the moments that are spoken about during um, the Q&A, but I'm very, very excited. Looking forward to hearing all about their lives together. It's gonna to be brilliant. People queuing up, so I better go and get in line. So let's go. So I am in my seat, I'm in F22, I've got a prime view of the stage and I'm so looking forward to it. It's a lovely theatre this, so gorgeous, but it's also quite intimate and small. So that's what I like about it because it's a QA. and a it's going to be really lovely to kind of be, you know, this close with such a lovely audience and only us in this audience are going to hear these stories. So it's very exciting, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you So I just got back after seeing a Dench and Two Williams at the Garrick Theatre and I had the most amazing night. It was an incredible show and I learned so much about their lives as a family. So much so I took some notes down as they answered a few of my questions and it was just a really, really insightful and interesting night. But it was also just so relaxed and so chill and I just had a great time. Um, it was humorous, it was heartfelt, it was lots of fun, and I just enjoyed every single moment from start to finish. So Giles Torreira, who of course originated the role of Aaron Burr on Hamilton West End, was hosting this Q&A, and he was absolutely fantastic. I've not seen him host before, but I thought he did a great job of presenting and asking all the questions to Sam, Finty, and Judy. It was just a wonderful night, and honestly, he was superb. I think he was a little nervous, he said, when I spoke to him afterwards. But honestly, you could not tell. And the conversations were flowing. And he did a really great job of picking up the Twitter questions, a few of which were, of course, from me. Um, so a few things that I learned about Dame Judy tonight, which I had no idea about, was that Dame Judy initially wanted to be a designer. And hilariously, um, Finty Williams, um, Judy's daughter, said that she wanted to be an acrobatic nurse when she was little, so that was a lot of fun. And then they went on to talk about things about their favourite shows. Dame Judy talked hilariously about how much she loved hair, The King and I. Um, she also quoted that the Book of Mormon was rude but good, which was hilarious. And um, Finty mentioned that Dame Judy doesn't often give standing ovations, but for Glenn Close, she was one of the first to stand up in the stalls at the Coliseum when they went to see Sunset Boulevard, as she loved it so much. Um, I then put a question to them about if they had any advice for any aspiring performers, um, and they all said to be kind and to be supportive of other people. Um, she also said that it's all about community. So um, they were all talking about how special it is to be in a company of um, actors. Just bear in mind that obviously I am kind of quoting various different pieces from this very special Q&A. So it's not in full, but it's a few things that I noted down, which was just wonderful, so lovely. Um, so they also said that we need to be in a theatre exchanging things because vitally important. Dame Judy said that, and that's very, very true. Um, you know, it's it's important to create and it's terribly important to be with people, she said, which honestly couldn't be more true after tonight. It was great to see Sam and Finty and Dame Judy after the show as well. Just great to see people again at a safe distance, of course. Um, interestingly, um, Giles then took it to a game and they were talking about who owns a parrot, which I had no idea about, which was interesting. Um, turns out the answer was Dame Judy. She owns a parrot. Um, who she acquired from Maidstone, which I believe is Kent, so where I'm from. She's called Sweetie. Interesting to know that Dame Judy has a pet parrot. Love that. Um, hilariously, she told another really funny story about when she was in A Winter's Tale with Kenneth Branagh um, and how she forgot a piece of her costume and had to run off and run back on again. Um, 
just before a really emotional scene, which I thought was hilarious. But I think, you know, we all have those moments on stage where we're like, oh my goodness, I should be here at this point, or I should be wearing a certain thing. And every now and then mishaps happen on stage, but she still made it to stage on time for her scene. And she said um, that any Shakespeare she's not done that she would like to includes King John, and Joyce and Cressida, which is really interesting. So those would be awesome plays. But she did say that she's also done a lot of Shakespeare for radio. So not only she's done stage, she's also done radio, which is really, really cool. Um, and then, yeah, she couldn't really decide on a favorite because she's got so many. Um, but there was a really, really lovely story um, about special moments they spent together. Um, I asked whether they had any f kind of fondest moments together. And um, they answered that, um, Sam, during lockdown, like threw two pieces of paper at them both um, when they were at home and it was just as kind of lockdown, lift down, lockdown restrictions were easing, so in the summer and bless Sam, he had created an invite for The Greatest Showman and kind of set up a mini cinema um, TV and stuff in their backyard, they had the fire going and popcorn and they said that was a really sweet moment but they all said how much they love to be in each other's company so that in itself they were very happy about which is so sweet um, also, I've got to give a shout out to Finty's amazing podcast, which is talking to people who have recovered from addiction. She is amazing, and I will link that below, so be sure to check that out. Finty's podcast is called The Wagon, and it's available weekly on Apple and Spotify. So she finished the first season slash series, if you're in the UK, um, on Apple and Spotify during lockdown. And she said that she's also about to start series two, which is very, very exciting. So looking forward to listening to that and supporting it because it's absolutely amazing. The way that Vindy spoke about it this evening, it's amazing to see how she's so open about this. And it's important to talk about these things. I've always said about my hair loss and things that I struggle with, that the more we talk about these things, the better they get. So I love this podcast. If you haven't heard it, there's a really good interview with Denise Welsh, who I absolutely adore. Um, about recovery and also being addicted, but please do go and check that out. It's an amazing resource, but also just a fascinating podcast, um, which I really enjoyed listening to over lockdown, so be sure to check that out. Um, interesting enough, Finty and Dame Judy did The Vote back in 2015 together, um, which I never got to see. I would have loved to have seen it, um, but they mentioned that, um, that they did a show together, which was super, super cool. Um, and yeah, so... Dame Judy also spoke about her experience of being in Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, of course, if you know that famous t scene where Johnny Depp kissed her and she goes, is that it? Apparently, um, like, that was just kept in and then he bit off her earring and exited with it in his mouth and she said she loved it, which was hilarious. I mean, who wouldn't love that? It was hilarious, very, very funny. And then legacy, she said if she could leave a legacy, it would be don't take yourself too seriously, get on with it and have fun. Um, Vinti said have tattoos and th she's got 13 of them, she but they all have tattoos. So Sam has his amazing Ed Sheeran tattoos for each album and era. And then um, Dame Judy has Carpe Diem on her wrist. So if you didn't know that, I discovered that tonight, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, it was just absolutely brilliant to hear Sam's stories about meeting Ed Sheeran as well, what it was like for him, because often or not he's mistaken for him, but it was just so, so brilliant. Um, and then they were asked what the scariest thing they've ever done is, and um, Sam said, this is abnormal and very different to what he's done from drama A-level. So well done, Sam, you smashed it. You couldn't tell you were nervous. You did a really, really great job, and it was just a great talk. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, so Finty mentioned releasing the podcast in lockdown, really enjoying that. Um, but she also said that it was something that she was really nervous about. But honestly, if you hear the podcast, it is absolutely fantastic. So check it out. Again, I'm plugging the podcast. I can plug it as many times as I like. It's brilliant. Um, she also spoke about, obviously, um, fear in um, theatre as well. But fear fueling that adrenaline. Uh, Judy said it's good to kind of be fearful before a performance because that fear is very good for you. Um, but if it's not there she said that basically something you have to overcome and use the energy it creates into your performance maybe she said so as an example i get really nervous when i go on stage but it actually really helps me perform because it fuels that adrenaline and makes me feel really happy and even she said she still gets nervous um but that you know to me just seems so crazy 
but I think they had a great time and, and you couldn't see the nerves, but I spoke to Vinti and Sam and they both said that Dame Judy was really nervous for this, but they all did so well and it was so lovely to kind of see them together. You know, they were like bouncing off each other and Giles was asking some fantastic like um, questions. And then they also got asked w what they do to overcome fear and uh, Finty said singing and for me that's so relatable. Whenever I felt stressed or sad or upset, even before lockdown I sang, but I sang even more when I was at home. Um, because for me singing is an escape. Um, it's like moving the stress away. So I, I can totally relate Finty, that was just brilliant. Um, and then also they were talking about the Oscars and the Oscar story, um, which is brilliant after Evita came out. So Judy and Finty um, saw Antonio Banderas and Antonio asked Finty for a light for his cigarette. So that's quite a cool story. Sam also spoke about meeting Ben, ben Platt in After Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. Got to love Ben Platt, that's brilliant, and fangirling over him. I would too, to be fair, Sam, love that. Um, and Judy said that she has so many pinch me moments. Um, in the summer of Los Angeles, Four Seasons, so they were at the Four Seasons, um, but we were having a drink and then they turned around and someone was kneeling down and that person was Morgan Freeman. So she said that both her and Finty turned ridiculous because they couldn't quite believe it, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, Dame Judy also said that she's missing friends and not being able to be all together. So she felt that tonight was really, really special. And what lockdown has done is brought out incredible kindness in people. So small areas of people have got to know people, brought people together and that's a plus. Um, and she said that when she went for a vaccine, she heard that there were people. She said, there are people? So exciting. Also, I was totally blown away when Dame Judy did some Shakespeare sonnets. It was just magical, honestly. Everyone in the audience just, there was a roar of applause. It was amazing to see. So yeah, it was an incredible night. That's just a few kind of snippets and quotes that I wrote down when I saw the show. Um, but just want to say a huge congratulations to Dame Judy, Finty, Sam, and of course the incredible host Giles, who absolutely smashed it tonight. Thank you for the joy, thank you for the smiles, thank you for sharing your story. It was a really, really great night and felt so good to be back in a the theatre again, seeing live entertainment and actually hearing from people and not via Zoom, it was excellent. But thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to click subscribe. Um, I'm almost to 7,000 subscribers. I might have hit it by the time you're watching this, but thank you so much for your support. I'm incredibly grateful. Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Dame Judy, to Sam and to Finty. You're amazing. You're fabulous. You're inspirational. And I was very lucky and grateful to be there tonight. So thank you. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.